Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Soul Caster. I'm Michael Seven Michael, and today we have Megan. Hello. How you doing, Megan? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing really good. Good. I'm excited because we're going to talk about Onyx. Mm-hmm. And Onyx is one of the earliest stones that I was introduced to. Really? Yeah. Cool. Like, oh, you got to get an Onyx ring. You got to, you know, once I got into crystals, they're like, oh, you got to get an Onyx. You got to get an Onyx. Onyx. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but first, we're going to give a shout out to Sound Shark, this wonderful microphone. And we are going to give a shout out to Crystal's Garden that gave us this wonderful specimen of Onyx so we could talk about it during the show. So, what do you know about Onyx? Onyx is a really beautiful stone to work with. Um, the previous stones that we were talking about earlier was more protection of external energies. Mm -hmm. I love Onyx because it's more about your internal energies and dealing with your own demons or your shadow, shadow self uh, and reprogramming the vibration that you're putting off as a human being or, you know, a spirit. Uh, so whatever you put out into the into the universe, whatever your energy, your thought patterns are, how you feel about yourself, how you think about yourself, all of those things, it helps you go to the roots of those um, patterns that you're putting out into the universe and change them into a more positive frequency. So it's rather than rather than blame it on everybody else, like look at, <laughs> look at yourself. It's not. <laughs> It's not me. <laughs> it's the it's everybody. It's the universe. It's the angels. It's God. It's the devil. All that stuff. It's the tree trunks. <laughs> it's Beyonce. <laughs> it's Kanye. Cool. It's Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ricky Schroeder. I don't know. No, but yeah, it's really beautiful for working on your own scar tissue, mm -hmm. like diving into yourself and really helping heal and empower yourself by looking at yourself and the uh frequencies and energy of the stone help you help you and assist you with that it's so interesting because i know a lot of people that have onyx just because it's a cool black stone it's just a cool black stone yeah and you see a lot of rings with it but i didn't realize that it's it also works on the polarity of your feminine and masculine energies mm -hmm. trying to balance that out yeah which is interesting um I don't know. We, we, it's interesting. A lot of the stones that we've talked about so far have been grounding stones. Mm -hmm. And I definitely would recommend this one just because I would think that everyone's energies need to be to balanced out, especially with all the technology, um, all the radiation constantly coming at us, all the noise, especially if you live in an urban area. Yeah. You need something to kind of smooth that out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really good for self-reflection. It's really good for um, st also standing your ground and seeing, you know, seeing the world through your own eyes without the filter of the mm -hmm. the uh, internal voice, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, but being more present and seeing things clearly. So it's a beautiful ally to work with, for sure. It says it's also good for stress. Would yeah. You, would you go with onyx more, th more than like a rose quartz for stress? Or I, everybody's different, so I think some everybody's people... everybody's different. It's, okay. I think it depends on what the stress is coming from, because mm -hmm. the body can go through different types of stress. It can be the stress of walking through a snowstorm versus mm -hmm. getting into an argument or paying bills, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there are different factors. Christmas shopping. <laughs> if you do that. Yeah. If you do that. Or any kind of holiday, birthday, anniversary. Yeah. 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 A whole pocket full of onyx. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just fill your purse with onyx. Yeah. You'll be just, good to go. <laughs> and you know what? I have heard people grounding up crystals mm -hmm. and using the dust either to like either to um, add that with like sage and like to like to, to burn it. Almost and like a resin kind of a, a thing. A resin kind of thing. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that either. Because I feel like crystals are such ancient energies, you know. Like Why would you want to crush it up? I wouldn't want to crush it's it like up. <gasps> yeah. You know. Because it has all that intelligence it's holding on to. That's like going to a library and burning the library. Why would you do that? Right. Or taking. So the you can take the ashes and sprinkle them. Like. Yeah. Take in a the pages from different and books and, and like, mix match. Yeah. No. Like. 
I see dog run across the end in the beginning of time, and then you go <laughs> the, the scientific route. Like you wouldn't do that. No, no. no. Yeah. I mean, to each his own. Or, yeah. You know, but I I don't pers- I don't know how I feel about that yeah. personally. Now, yeah. with onyx or just any other crystal, would you say that um, wearing it on your skin versus see right now I have some pyrite mm-hmm. hanging. Yeah. Versus inside, does it make a difference? Do you think? Well, or in I th- your pocket, in or your in pocket. pouch. I think that. Um, so just the the human body we have our we have our bones we have mm-hmm. veins we have you know fat cells we have skin mm-hmm. but then it, that doesn't that's, our skin isn't where we stop you know our energetic mm-hmm. field goes out further we have our body heat we have our aura mm-hmm. you know so ultimately like i can push my energy out much further past my skin you know than like my actual skin mm-hmm. so i think whether the stone is on your skin or on like, on fabric it's still mm-hmm. going to be a part of your your field Okay. You know? So I think it's okay. Like, so it's okay to have it. Yeah. That's interesting. You know, it's easy to forget that. Yeah. There are energy field. Well, depending on how much you amplify it, mm-hmm. it could be right here. And it could... But it could be out here, too. Right. You know, you could fill the whole entire room if you want to. Yeah. City block. That's what I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was your first experience with Onyx? My first experience was when I was 10, okay. and it was the power bead popular thing, mm-hmm. uh, and I was all about it, so I had like my tiger's eye, I had my jasper, I had my rainbow, like I had just the like, whole thing going on, mm-hmm. and my uh, mother gave me an onyx power bead bracelet. And I loved it so much that I ended up going and buying a big ring. So I had this beautiful um, hand-wrapped onyx. Mm. So I wore the onyx along with my bead. And that was, like, my first. That's when I was like, ah, maybe I'm gothic. Like, <laughs> maybe I'm, like, into that. You know, like, that's, right. like, when I was, like, trying to figure out who I was. Mm. You know, but I remember I was really drawn to it. And I thought that it was, like, a it was a very sexy stone. There was just something about it. I didn't know what its properties were. Um, I just knew that it was really attractive energetically as well as physically and really got into it. And then from there, that's kind of like when my love for beads and like gemstones and all that kind of opened up and I was like looking into them and what they're for and what they do and really realizing that they were actually affecting me, you know, that was the beginning of a very long relationship. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Well, we like Onyx here and we hope everyone can take a look at the onyx. <laughs> it's a very mystical, wonderful, balancing stone of the ages. Yes. 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 You're watching Soul Caster, and we're talking about onyx. And if you have any comments, questions, definitely hit us up.